Right you guys, got another CPU water cooling solution here for you by ID Cooling. This is their latest AuraFlow 240. This is a high performance CPU liquid cooling solution which does come with RGB sync which means it will sync to your motherboard and you'll get a beautiful light display on your fans and water pump and a motherboard as well if you have one of those motherboards. Now you can see here uh, it does come very well packaged here with thick uh, dense cardboard uh, which will protect it in transit when you order yours online. Now inside the box you're going to get everything you need to get up and running and get your nice uh, coloured RGB display in your system. Now they've worked pretty hard on their user manual and as you can see here now it's got a nice layout with uh, pictures and English writing which makes it very easy to set up and get it installed into your system. So as you can see they've worked pretty hard here and it does uh, look pretty nicely laid out and very easy to understand. So kudos to ID Cooling for that one. Now also, uh, you've got two fans in here which are pretty decent fans. Uh, these fans are 120 mil fans. The fan speed is 700 by 1800 reps per minute. Max airflow is 74.5 CFM and you can see it's got anti-vibration rubber on it. They've got their own cool uh, blade design here as well. It has got a DC brushless fan design which have a bearing type of hydraulic bearings and again pretty much uh, static pressure on these ones, uh, these fans as well. So a pretty decent uh, fan which has an RGB uh, sort of plug on it as you can see here and uh, these are a four pin uh, plug for the RGB. It does give you all the cables that you're going to need and uh, once you plug these in you'll get a nice RGB display onto your uh, fan here and you'll see that a little bit later on in the video. Pretty awesome fans as well. You can always buy more of these if you want to do a push and pull uh, solution on your uh, water cooling system. Uh, but yeah, pretty much uh, pretty affordable as well to buy secondary fans as well if you want to do that. But these should last quite a long time because they've got some good durability on them. So let's take a look at uh, some other bits and pieces you're going to get into your package here. So there's the two fans. You're also going to get a cable here which has a Molex on it. But this is uh, to get power to the actual device. You can see it's got uh, four pins uh, on this one here and these will plug into uh, the Molex cable and you're also going to get three adapters on the end which is for the two fans and also for the actual display on the water pump. You're also going to get all your bolts and fittings and brackets and uh, coolant here. You can see you've got compatibility here for uh, Intel and AMD. So for Intel you've got uh, the LGA 2011 socket 1366 1151, 1150, 1155, 1156 and 775 socket. AMD does support AM4, also FM2+, FM2, FM1, AM3+, AM3, AM2+, and also AM2. Now you're also going to get your compound here, which is pretty decent compound. You get some really good uh, temperatures here and your back plate there for the motherboard. So you're going to get everything you need in this package. And if you want to know how to install this, I've already made a video on how to install one of these in uh, previous uh, ID cooling videos that I've done. There's also another cable here, which is going to be uh, for the RGB display. You can see there's one cable with four plugs on the end of it as well. And uh, these are female, as you can see here. So you'll be plugging those into there. So once you've got your Molex in and plugged it in, you'll plug these into there. And that gives you a bit of an extension as well. So you can route this around the back of the machine possibly uh, and something like that. But we'll take a look at that uh, when I do an install video. But pretty much I think it will look pretty decent uh, when it's uh, all installed into the computer. So let's take a look at the actual uh, pump and radiator here. The radiator dimensions is 274 by 120 by 27 millimeters. You can see you've got that four pin pronged uh, plug on there again. And that's what's gonna be plugging into that extension uh, cable there as well. Now also you can see here you've got a little three pin, uh, three pin plug here which is going to go straight into the CPU header on the motherboard and of course you've got the uh, tubing here which is uh, this premium tubing. It's pretty decent stuff. It's sleeved as well and uh, pretty thick dense rubber in here. They've definitely upgraded their rubber tubing and the rubber tubing length is 315 millimeters and uh, I can say it's pretty robust and durable uh, this particular type of tubing. They've also got TDP of 200 watts on this one. And again, these two end uh, inlets and outlets here uh, do have some movability on them. You can see here, you can move this about. So if you've got any sort of uh, 
impedance there you can uh, move these a little bit the wall block dimensions is 68 by 65 by 36 millimeters and it does have a copper plate on the bottom which looks pretty awesome as well pretty good quality so make sure you remove that plastic uh, film there the pump speed is 2100 revs per minute and they've got a unique bracket design here which is really easy to set up and install uh, your latest uh, water pump here pretty easy to do the wall pump is a ceramic pump bearing in there as well and also you're going to have a pump life expectancy of 50,000 plus hours which is pretty outstanding for a little tiny pump like this and I think they've done quite a bit of a, a work on this pump it's got noise levels of 25 decibels but you can see the profile on there is pretty low profile but the overall look of this pump is really nice so I think they've uh, done some uh, pretty good work on this pump to get it to look like this so also you've got the RGB display here which will light up with loads of different colors and uh, it will sync with your motherboard lights and also your RAM and stuff like that once you've got it installed and I'll show you a bit of that display a little bit later on but um, yeah pretty decent uh, pump on there now also the profile of the uh, radiator is made of aluminium as you can see here and uh, it's pretty thin pretty lightweight so as you can see we have the ID calling logo on the side which has that sort of brushed aluminium effect on the side and uh, but it is an aluminium uh, radiator here and I do like the design of this radiator also it's uh, very thin and lightweight but it does do a very good job at keeping that uh, CPU cool which is great for overclocking and stuff like that you can see right through the honeycomb uh, radiator there so let's take a look at some uh, Stu Elvis for letting me use this video uh, so I can show you some of the displays and this is in static mode which means it's in sync with your motherboard and you get the illumination of the RAM, pump, uh, motherboard and also the fans and you can see it looks absolutely stunning you can choose whatever color scheme you want here but they do other modes as well like breathe mode and uh, strobe and also um, color cycle and stuff like that they do loads of different modes and you can check that video out in the video description I'll leave a link to it so you can check it out and he does lots more uh, displays on this one I've just cut it short but anyway I'm going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now <laughs>